Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two about making this pattern, seamless pattern. I stated in the other video that I do not like power clipping, and some people have had trouble with engraving it where it bleeds outside the box. But I just created one, and I did it in color just to kind of play around. And this one was created without power clip. And you can see the difference when you drag it. It's they're just individual items. I tried several different ways, back minus front and so on, and it just I couldn't get anything to work. So we're just gonna make another one. I'm gonna make it all black this time. But once again, I said in the first video, this is just a font named but botanical. And I'm just gonna get some of these flowers. And just for your information, um, when you type out your letters, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you wanna look at the capitals, well, let's just do that real quick, that's pretty neat. Let's just do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And if you wanna look at them in the lowercase and the capital font, Control D and make a duplicate. Go to your text and change the case to uppercase. And then when you select this and go botanical or whatever font you have, uh, you can see what your fonts are and see the difference. This is a uppercase and that's a lowercase a. Anyway, to get back to the project. And if you didn't watch the first one, you might want to watch it. It's a little bit more informative. And but we're gonna I'm gonna just do a simple one here. Well, we're gonna call that simple enough. And the box is five inches, so we're gonna grab those two and control D and nudge them over five inches. Now they're let's not make it that simple because it's there's really too symmetrical, so you need to nudge one of them off a little bit. Control D and make a duplicate, and that way it won't look so much like an obvious straight line pattern. And then we need to make, we're just gonna do a really simple one, and then nudge it down, and then we'll put this guy in the middle. So we're gonna call that good. But you'll just, you just need to get the idea. Let me zoom in here. And we're gonna take our box out of the way and we're gonna take all these items and we're gonna left click, right click. And we're also gonna convert them to a curve. And then we're gonna bring our box back in and we're gonna take the virtual segment delete key and delete everything on this side of the line and then delete everything on you know, this side of the line too. And, and then, so basically deleting the outside lines. And you might have to zoom in here to get some of these smaller parts. Now this will require a little bit of work uh, at the end, but it's more important than having the power clip not work for you. This will work. Now with the box, and I'm gonna just do it in black and white just color in your petals. Some of them are easy, some of them are not. And we actually didn't hit that line. I don't think it really matters, but then take the Smart Fill tool and just fill in everything that's on this side, of, inside the box. And then take your box away. Then Control D G to make a group of it, and Control D to make a duplicate. And there you go, you have a seamless pattern again to your heart's content. And you can just make it go on forever. Now this is way too symmetrical. You know, that one is too big compared to the you know one I did earlier that's almost, well, it's symmetrical, but it's like a running pattern. This with the boxes, doesn't look good, but there's a way to do it without power clipping. And we'll just look at it. I always look at stuff to make sure it's not anything in the background and it's not, it's all black vector letters. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.